Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to take a screenshot on your Moto Razor. Now there's three different ways to do this and I'll show you all three. Afterwards I'm going to show you how to print your screenshot and also how to print an email and print from a website. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take a screenshot of my home screen. I'm going to take my three fingers here and I'm going to press for one second just like this. And that's going to take a screenshot in the corner and I can tap on that little image that pops up. And here is our screenshot right here. It's going to give you some options to edit the picture. We can drag from the corners to crop down the picture. And you have a pen tool to write on the picture as well. You can add text here. And when you're all done, you can uh, hit the check to have it saved to your gallery. Hit the share button to send it to someone or hit the trash can to delete it. So that's the first way to screenshot. Now, the second way to take a screenshot is by simply pressing on the recent apps button in the bottom here. And here you'll have a screenshot button. Now the difference here is that you can't screenshot your home screen. You would have to be on a page. For example, open any app and let's say we want to take a screenshot of this main page of, the, of Google Chrome. I can tap on this recent apps button and then tap on this button and this will snap a screenshot of that page. So that's the second way to take a screenshot. It's just by tapping on that or just swiping over to any other app and just tapping that little button right there. Now the third option is manually by using the physical buttons. So pressing on the power button and the volume down button for one second, just like this. Power, volume down. You're going to hold and let it go. You'll see it flash. You'll see the pop in the corner. You'll tap on that pop up and then this will allow you to make any edits or changes before saving. So those are the three different ways to take a screenshot. Now, where do we find that screenshot? Where is it saved on your phone? Let's swipe up and we're going to go to our Google folder and then go to photos, Google photos. You'll find all the screenshots that we just took. Now let's tap on this one. Now let's say I wanted to print this screenshot. I'm going to tap on the three dots in the upper right corner right here and I'm going to slide over to the print button. Tap on print. It'll take you to this screen. Now the next thing is obviously you're going to need a wireless printer that is turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi network. So if you have that, go ahead and turn on that printer. Make sure it's on your Wi-Fi network. Next we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen and make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi as well. You can hold down on this first little icon here and this will take you to your Wi-Fi networks and verify what network you're connected to. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. This won't work if you're not connected to your Wi-Fi network. Okay, so we are connected. Our printer is on. We're going to tap on select a printer and here you should see your printer populate in this little menu here. I'm going to tap on my Epson XP4200 and now I can tap on this little blue button to send this picture and have it print out from the printer. So that's how easy it is to print a screenshot or any picture that's on your phone for that matter. Now next, let's go over how to print an email. Since we're on the topic of printing, let's go to our Google folder and let's go to Gmail and let's find an email for us to print. Now here I have an email from Google. This is for their Pixel Bud earbuds. I'm gonna go to the upper right corner and tap on those three dots. And here you'll see a print button. We'll tap on print, follow the same instructions, make sure your Wi-Fi is on, tap on select a printer, select the Epson, and give it a few seconds. Now, if there's a lot of pages that you need to print, for example, this email might be five or 10 pages, it'll take a minute for you to see the preview of that email right here. So don't worry, just wait a, you know, sometimes it can take up to a minute for the preview of the email to show up. Once that shows up, then you'll see that blue print button right here. That's how you'll know that you are now able to print. Now, one other thing, if you tap on this little drop down arrow, you'll have some options. For example, maybe you want to print more than one copy. Here you can change the number of copies. You can switch from color to black and white. You can also change the paper size, the orientation. So you have a few different options here to adjust exactly how it prints. Now one trick, if it takes a long time for that preview to show up, try this. Tap on this little drop down arrow here and go to save as PDF. 
For some reason, when you select that, it will make the preview automatically load. Now I can tap on save as PDF and switch back to the Epson printer. And now our preview is there and we're ready to print. And we see our blue print button right here. We can tap on that and now we can print out our email. Now, by the way, if you're uh, in the market, you want to print from your phone, you just don't have a compatible printer, I'll link on screen here to a really great printer and I'll link a few others below the video. Um, I love Epson printers and they're what I recommend because they're the easiest to set up in my opinion and they work the most seamless with smartphones in my experience. Okay, lastly, let's go over how to print a web page. I'm going to go to Amazon.com and just select a product. And let's say you're doing some research, you find this product, and you want to print this out. Well, upper right corner, we're going to tap on the three dots, but you'll notice there is no print button in this menu. There's one extra step you need to take when printing from a website. You're going to tap on the share button, and then you'll see a print button right here. We'll tap on print. And then everything else will look the way it's looked on the other pages. I'm going to select my printer. And if that uh, preview doesn't load, again, just tap there, go to save as PDF. And it should load a little bit faster. Now, one thing to pay attention to when you print a website is that there's usually a lot of pages. In fact, right here, it tells us this is page one of 15. Now, guess what? You may only want the first page. You may not want to print all 15. So you can swipe through here and you can basically check in the corner or uncheck different pages that you don't want to print or you can tap on that drop down and where it says the page range, tap there and tap on range. And then here you can change it and just put in, do you want page one? Do you want page one and 10? You can hit comma. 10 it'll print page 1 and 10 or you can print page 1 through 5 by tapping 1-5 that's how you can adjust what pages print you don't want to waste ink printing too many pages so make sure you dial this in before you hit print when you're done you're going to tap on that blue print button and that's going to send it off to the printer I hope you guys got value out of this video. If you did, bump the like button down below. Here I'll link to my playlist with all my other videos on the Moto Razor. And here I'll link to another really helpful video as well. And I'll also leave links in the description and in the pinned comment for printer recommendations if you want to get a printer that is compatible with this phone. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.